Hey, how y'all doing? It's May. The analogy, May analogy number five, is the sun is as above as lava is to below. So below. So the bright, sunshiny side of everything that we experience is we receive the sunlight and the sunshine from above. The heat source is the sun that is above. Now, I don't know if you know about what's going on in Hawaii. Is it Leilani? Or Ke I don't want to say the wrong thing, but Pele and there's a volcano, there's some things going on, and that lava is busting up, lava don't have no mercy. Lava don't give no fucks from below, and the court down below coming through, there are no discussions, okay? And I don't see nobody going up there trying to visit the sun. I don't see it happening. <laughs> that thing hot, ain't it? But see, you could just survive in the sunshine and it brings down and it's like you know it could be all good all gravy but guess what the bubblings underneath this going to expose the shenanigans on the, the other side because me and one of my homies was talking about how life is like balancing lava balls at times like you can't even let them shits touch your hand so the in-between is where I consider, I guess, a form of reality because beneath is the sun. Well, so, sorry. Above is the sun. Then in between is us. And then beneath is the lava. So you can get the heat from up here and have a good time and see the brighter things. You can get the heat from down below. That could be like emotions inside, whether it's anger, any emotion that is fear-based. Any negative emotion, rather, my bad, is based in fear. Whether it's anger, jealousy, whatever makes you feel bad, guilt, shame. There, the list goes on. Make up a word, figure it out. It's because of something you're afraid of that's making you feel that way. So maybe if you're jealous of something, you'd be like, "My fear you might lose somebody. Or if you're angry, you fear you might lose your job. Whatever it is. I don't want to put it in a box. I just want the idea of sun is to as above as lava is to so below. And I want you to think about this other analogy I was trying to figure out how to interpret. Because I got all these mosquito bites, right? So I was like, what is the purpose of mosquitoes? Like, what? What do they do? Just like gnats. And there's some people I describe as gnats. Because if they're annoying, I'll call them gnat king coals or gnat king. Gnat. G-N-A-T. And if they're, they're, if they're like a disgusting type of individual, they're like repulsive. They be like spidey. So it's kind of a description of a characteristic attached to behavior. Okay, so mosquitoes are to blood-sucking predators. Is it as wolves are to sheep because wolves prey on sheep? Or is it mosquitoes are to skin? Ugh, disturbance as wolves are to sheep or ants to a picnic. Which one? So, we'll figure that out. But that's going to be the next one after this. So, I'm trying to, like, relate them. Oh, and remember when I was talking about hypnagogia yesterday? If you look forward to something, it won't, you're probably not going to be upset about getting woke up for it. If you go on the Six Flags or whatever the next day, shoot, you might be up early, like, get your stuff ready. <laughs> so, your level of enthusiasm is your greatest persuasion. And you're not going to be disturbed to get up to go catch a flight to wherever you want to go, to Haiti. I'm not going to be like, mm, I don't want to get up. She, I'm going to be up already. I'm going to jump up like, oh, oh, I'm going to Tahiti. So 
the context of why, then it wouldn't really be disturbed though then, would it? Would it be disturbed if you're excited? Like when people celebrate holidays and then they be, who? now you know how kids be when it's time. Come on, man. Come on, man. They ain't think about sleep. But if something's going on, sleep be the freedom. Sleep be the peace. So if you're having trouble sleeping, you can try a sleep technique. It's called, is it called 478? Well, you could make your own three numbers. So you breathe in how many seconds? Four seconds in, hold it for three or seven. Let's just do three. So we want to make it four, three, four or three, three, three. Out is long. It might be 743. So I'm giving you random numbers so that you don't just pick what I say. You make your own. With your breath, when you breathe in, say, like count in your head. Mom can't count and breathe at the same time. In. So breathe in as far as it'll go. And when you breathe in, push your stomach out so the air fills your stomach like a balloon. Then hold your breath and close all your orifices. Like if you do Kegels and do them with both hold, both all your whatevers. And then as you hold it. And then when you breathe out a certain amount of numbers, seven seconds, then you do it again. So you're focused on the numbers instead of what's going on, what happened today, what you got to do tomorrow, what's going to be for lunch, what you go, who's short? A baloney of a sandwich. I told my homie the other day he was baloney short of a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I say have a good day, y'all. Peace. <laughs>